I got a feeling I'm coming grumpily. Uh-huh. I got a feeling I'm going to grab a lead. All right, let's see what we got. Uh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. What is this? Okay, so I'm gonna be rusty. But welcome back to Boundless. Welcome back to another Hidden Gems. Uh, and it definitely has been a while since you last uh, heard my voice doing um, this particular episode or this particular series. Uh, I want to start off by saying that I was actually going to abandon this channel. Um, I wasn't happy with the way I was, the direction I was taking it. And so I had to sit back and reevaluate some things in my life and some things that I was doing on the channel. And I decided that I really wanted to focus on trying to keep this channel as family friendly as possible, um, because I do believe in having family friendly content because that's just the type of person I am, you know, I'm family friendly, you know what I'm saying? So um, anyways, we're back in my workshop. And so you guys know what this is. This is Hidden Gems. We're going to find some hidden gems here on Boundless. I do actually have a couple planned. Um, I've got some chiclets here in my inventory. Um, let's see. We've got a few here. I do have one from Catopia that I, I found. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you. You got to see this thing. Okay. So this is what's going on so far in my, um, my little place, Cyber City. Um... So I've got like my store here, this little store here, uh, this little uh, little um, eatery here, and then we've got McDowell's. Um, and so yeah, that's about it. I've got a few things that I've added since then. Back down here in this tunnel, I'm gonna add a farm or adding farms. And uh, so yeah, that's all that I've got really done um, new in the workshop. So uh, instead of me focusing on me, oh, maybe you didn't see this. I don't know if you saw this. Uh, so I've got this little vault here. Um, this was inspired by, not really sure, but um, this is a anvil. Yeah. And under here it says vault. Basically, this is where I'm going to put stuff that the guild is free to take. Um, it's kind of empty right now. I'm not really done yet. I still want to make it a little more disheveled, you know, like it's falling apart. Um, like there's pieces hanging and stuff like that. Oh, 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 let me show you something really quick. Let me show you what I, what I did outside. Come with me. Come with me. So we had a little project, guild project, and, um, basically each, um, we had, we built a wall around the, the guild settlement and some of us decided that we were going to have gates and um our illustrious 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 yes illustrious guild leaders thought or at least vank I, I don't know if m was involved but i know vank wanted each of us to design a gate that f fit our personalities i figured i'd go with the theme of my city so i went with the cyberpunk look and mine kind of ended up being a pc rig like i wanted or yeah i wanted a gamer rig like the tower um so that's what i went with and this looks like transformers i realized that our our symbol looks like transformers especially when it's in metal um but this is what it's looking like i'm not sure if i'm finished quite yet but this is the inside i couldn't really go with what i wanted to do i'm not finished okay I'm not finished. There's still some things I want to get done. So that's why there's this hole here. But this is what I've got so far. I love, I love a good pun. I showed this on the, um, on the what? On the forums? <laughs> told you I was, uh, told you I was rusty. Okay, so that's what I got. It's on both sides. Uh, but this is my gateway to Cyber City. So you can still come in this way. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I got. All right, now enough about me let's talk about you okay so catopia that's where we're going first so i will see you there in just a moment 
you know what? I don't think I remember where Catopia <laughs> I I don't think I remember where Catopia is. Like I oh there it is right there. Oh my goodness, look. It's right there. So I can't believe I missed this place. Like how long has it been here? Because I've passed this portal multiple times, I think. Haven't seen it, hadn't gone into it. I don't know. I just decided yesterday that I was going to go in. So here we go. Let me say this. This portal right here, it's it's bar none. Bar none. Oh, I know why I came in here. This is where I came from. Um, out of curiosity, I just want to go in here and see what uh, Liso, Lisocia, Lisocia is all about. Okay. Ooh, somebody's got a castle build going. I like a good castle build. Uh, so they've got a shop here. Uh, it's a little empty, but that's what little shops are looking like lately. That's what the shops are looking like lately. Hopefully, with the purchase of Boundless by Monumental, we'll start getting in some new fresh blood into the, the game. And maybe maybe our malls and shops will be a little more busy. So without further ado, oh, I'm so tempted to go through these, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Nope. I'm going to go through here, though. Yep, I'm going to go through here. This is really cool. I'm so serious when I say that I love it. I love this whole look. I'm not really sure about the theme. It's not giving me cat theme. Not really. So I'm not really sure why it's called Catopia. Sorry for hitting the mic. But I really like the look. Um, just it's it's fancy. And it looks like this is a whip. I, I won't try to stay in here very long because it looks like the owner's here. And you guys know how I am about snooping around somebody's place while the owner is here. So I, I will try to keep my snooping discreet as possible. But I just wanted to take a look at what they've got going on here. So let's back it up a little bit. Oh, what is over here? Is this? Okay, now I'm starting to see why this is Catopia. I like this building. So this is what they've got done so far, but it looks really good. It definitely is a whip, but I mean, fantastic job on your build so far. Look how unique this looks. It gives me kind of a, maybe a Japanese look, you know, like, um, maybe, I don't know if that's the look they're going for, but let's check out the cats because this is what Catopia is named after. Oh, and there's a build over here too. So let's check it out. Let us see what this is about. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. This, oh, <laughs> I didn't even see them all there. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is amazing. Listen, Catopia. Who who owns Catopia? Um, Junie. Listen, Junie. This is. I'm stunned. I I had my doubts because I was like, what, what in here is Catopia? This is Catopia. I, I I love it. Oh, this is this is after her cat. Rip, my dear Junie, I'll always love you. Oh no, another one. Odin, my dear cuddle cat. Oh my gosh, how sad. But what a beautiful memorial to your, your cuddle buddies. Oh my gosh, how cute. Fantastic build, Junie, I love it, I love it. Um, and the winter's gonna go over here and check this out too. So I assume this is part of your city as well. Looks like this is another whip. So like I said, I don't wanna stay here too, too long because the owner is over there. So I don't want to make this awkward for either one of us. But um, yeah, I really like what you've got going on so far. Um, and I really love the statues of your cats. Um, that's a really nice touch. I, I do love the personal touches that people put in this game. So this makes this game special, you know? It really does. And I'm really glad that this game um, has a future. And, you know, here's two positive thoughts um, with regards to Boundless. 
built by S. Clayton. Well, S. Clayton, you did an awesome job. But as I was saying, here's to positive thoughts to uh, what may happen to Boundless. Um, there's no negativity here. I'm looking at you people on the forum that's all negative and stuff. Cut it out. Cut it out. Uh, let's see what happens. And then, what, you know, once everything goes down, then you can start complaining. But until then, you have no idea what's going to happen. Okay? All right. I'm off my soapbox now. Okay. Um, I had another place. Okay. So, yeah. The brewery. Gellis. Okay. Let me see. Um, Gellis? Why can I never find Gellis when I need to? Here it is. So there's this place called The Brewery that I found. Just kind of exploring. I think it's through here, is it? TNT, Gellis, Eternal Rainbow, Galactic Gateway. Hmm. Okay. Rebirth, Mossshire, Grimtopia, Walt, hmm. Forge Market, Spit Cups, GG Town. We could go to Spit Cup's place, but I won't. Kiss my class, okay. Where is the brewery? I could have sworn that I saw it somewhere in here. I wrote it down. I thought it, oh, here it is. Leisure Town. Okay. Check this place out. Doesn't this give you like dwarven kind of pub brewery? I don't know. It's something about this place I love. It's it's really cool. This is like a pale ale, like um, a black and tan. Yeah, kinda, maybe. Is that what you were going for, black and tan? Um, I, okay, could be wrong. This is really cool. I love all the detail. Um, this is like all the pipes that run through. So cool. Um, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a downstairs. There's not a downstairs. I was fooled. Hello. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Um, that, that wasn't a downstairs. I thought it was. Oh, listen, listen. Okay. You know what? I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, so that was embarrassing. I'm gonna go upstairs and see what's up there. Um, the entry continues. So yeah, I'm willing to embarrass myself on Twitch, but <laughs> if I can edit out the embarrassment, I will. Yeah, um, yeah, this is really cool. It's a small build, but I love it. I really do. Um, I think the rest of this is a work in progress. That's what it looks like. But I can appreciate what you have right now here. And Oh, you've got other stuff out here. Ooh, hello. What's out here? Oh, that's cool. Huh. You guys, this crane reminded me of something. Oh, you guys, I'm so sad to myself, but the Death Star is gone. It is gone. A moment of silence for the Death Star. Trust your feelings. But the Death Star blewed up. I was so sad yesterday. Oh my goodness. But this is a really cool build. Um, I really like what you've got going. Ooh, what is this right here? Let me see if I can get a better look. Okay, I'm kind of curious about what that's what's that is over there. Hmm, I can't really tell. Maybe it's like a I don't know what that is, but I like it. Um, so I'm a little afraid of what I am about to enter into. Temple do temps. I know I um, screwed that name up because I screwed it up. Okay, so it says exit slow with a tongue sticking out. I don't know who gave me this chocolate. I have a feeling that it was Rumble Stilson because he has a twisted sense of humor. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this. 
and then I'm gonna figure out where the heck this is. Uh, places, locations, Temple do Temps. Okay, where's this? It's on Gellis. So we just left Gellis. Uh, if I had known that, I would have stayed there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit up Gellis and uh, let's go back into the Sanctum and see if we can get to this place. I hope it's still there because it definitely has been a long time uh, since I checked the, the chiclet box for locations. I really do apologize for anybody that has put in chiclets. Um, where is it at? Locations, not beacons. There's a Death Star. Mm, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Ooh, ooh. We should check out Galdrian's. Um, where was it? Where am I? Okay. Uh, it is right. Oh my gosh. Pixelated Twix. Okay. Here we go. Open up. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. No, I wasn't here yesterday, was I? No. Wait a minute. Was I, have I been here? I don't, I don't know. Dang. I don't, I don't think I, I don't know. Okay, well, oh, um, how do I get down? Oh, dang. <gasps> Look. Oh, gosh. Okay, I don't see a way. Okay, wait a minute. No wonder he said, watch my step. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Oh, by the way, happy birthday, Boundless. Happy birthday to you. Okay, that's all I'm saying before I get, uh, <laughs> get in trouble with YouTube. Oh, I love the um, the Triforce. I, I don't think I've ever been here. Oh my gosh. The fountain? That is so cool. So there's Triforces everywhere. Somebody loves a Zelda. I'm here for it. And apparently Star Wars. Whose uh, Star Wars build is this? Wait a minute. Can I get over there without having to swim? Of course I can. I have grapples. What are you thinking? Who's this? Ganondorf? I love the name. Okay. We are friends now, Ganondorf. We are friends. Um... Are these, any of these builds inspired by Zelda? It's been a while since I've played the, the newest one. Are you excited about the new one coming out? Uh, let me get this hammer out of the way. Dang, are these all like the same person? Yeah, Dark Ganondorf. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I love, love this city. It's gorgeous. This is all done by one person? No way. Let me see. Is this all one person? Yes, I'm going to, oh, geez. <laughs> Watch your step, pigs. Watch your step. It, what did I say? Dark Mall? Okay. It's probably the same person because uh, they're the Star Wars fan. Uh, let me see what this is over here. That's cool. This is an amazing looking city. This is on Gellis, guys. Temple do temps. Don't ask me to repeat that again because I'm. It. I sound horrible uh, saying that. Ah, uh, look at this moon. Of course, we gotta have a pyramid build. Look at this moon, though. Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, let me see if I can get a closer look. 
That looks awesome. Oh my gosh. Thank you for whoever gave me this. I was not disappointed at all. I'm not going to be able to get a chance to look at everything because I kind of want to keep this short and sweet, but I wanted to, to make sure I got in other cities as well. But you guys know the drill. You have to come visit these cities for yourself. Um, so this is TNT um, Gellis, and you just head out to Temple du Temps. Um, this is gorgeous. It really is. I wonder if there's a, if you guys have your own portal, um, out of like TNT, uh, cause some places obviously do. I don't know. There's a bunch of portals around here. So maybe palace shop, palace shop. Okay. So I don't know. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is a gorgeous build. I'm glad I came here. Dang this, this is. If you did this all by yourself, kudos. Even if you didn't, even if it's like one or two people or even three, this is fantastic. I love it. It it works really well together. I love the bits and pieces of the Zelda theme. Of course, Star Wars, because I'm a big Star Wars fan. This is really cool. Um, yeah, this looks amazing. I think I know the store. I feel like I know the store, like I've been in the store, but I've, <gasps> okay, yeah, I've been in the store. Yep, here it is. I do remember coming here, but I never walked out of the store. See, this is why you need to walk out of the store. Moral of the story. When you go someplace to buy something, explore this. This is really cool like I completely did not see the city outside I get a one-track mind walk in and buy something and leave yes picks can have a one-track mind I can focus uh, okay let me is it up these steps yeah I think so and the last time I came to check on him it was impressed oh yeah have not disappointed let me get all of this out the way. This is intrusive. Look. Oh man, that is gorgeous. I love the color scheme. He's still working on it, but Galdrian is a talented builder. Let's go inside. Love this doorway. Let's go in and see what you got going on in here. So he's got a color storage attached to this place, but I love his storage. I love, it's so, it's not plain Jane like mine looks. These, these are so cute. I hope you don't mind if I call them cute, but they are. I love this place. Okay, let's go upstairs real quick before we go. Caution, construction in progress. <gasps> this is his color storage. So he's got his color storage divided up in sections and he's got each beacon is a color. So if he should, and I hope he doesn't reclaim, but if he should reclaim, these will all have their own, uh, the, all the colors will have their own um, beacon and uh, it'll be easy for organization, which is a really uh, creative idea. But I love his color storage. Oh my gosh. Ah, this is so good. The lighting is perfect. So this is still a work in progress. He's obviously expanding out. But it looks amazing. Galdrian, I love what you got going on here, dude. It is so neat. I absolutely love this. Oh, man. Okay. So, I want to go downstairs and see what he has. I thought I saw... Yeah, yeah. Is there... Oh, I can't go in there. Okay. I don't know why I said it like that. 
sorry. Okay, all right, so I know this was kind of a quick video, but I don't want to keep them too, too long. Um, I, this is me trying to get it back into the thick of things. Uh, this channel is probably going to upload a lot of boundless videos, so be prepared for that. Um, I just want to get back into recording boundless videos, and if that's strictly what I'm going to do, that's strictly what I'm going to do. I haven't decided quite yet. Um, but I definitely want to keep this family friendly and I just love playing boundless um, It definitely challenges my creativity um, And you know, so yeah, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this Well, it's not exactly short. It's about 30 minutes or plus, but I hope you enjoyed this quick video uh, Just to catch up on hidden gems and I definitely have some more hidden gems in mind I have one written down sky city uh, I'll be coming to see you next but I knew that I was gonna get lost in there so I wanted to be able to spend a little more time with that build but um, a couple builds that weren't planned but definitely Catopia Galdrian's place was not um, in the plans but I'm glad I did come to see that and Catopia's awesome awesome build and MLG so yeah a lot of talented builders in Boundless and Here's to uh, the future of Boundless. Let's hope that um, the new owners do good by it. All right, guys, I will see you next time. I've been Pixelated Twix, and she is Luna Shell. Ciao.